To build this project we will need the 3D printed components, a ball joint, spring, M8 bolts, nuts and washers, M5 bolts and nuts, and four bearings. Four M8 threaded rods cut at a length of 10 centimeters and one cut at 20 centimeters. For the electronics, we'll need one USB encoder with the provided cables and six micro lever switches. Final part is a gear knob of your choice that is suitable with an M8 thread. The first part is to press fit the two larger bearings into the center assembly. Next, install the center assembly to the top main frame using M8 bolts and nuts. Then check the center assembly moves freely. Install the ball joint to the main frame with an M8 bolt with a washer and then tighten. Prepare two M5 bolts with nuts and then place M5 nuts into the top center assembly. With the smaller bearing on the bolt, assemble the bolt to the installed nut. On the longer threaded rod, add one M8 nut, a washer, spring, second washer, and the top center assembly. Place the part through the center assembly and through the ball joint. On the other side, place the lower ring, a washer, and two nuts. Prepare the four remaining threaded rods with M8 lock nuts. Then pass the rods through the top frame and install two M8 nuts onto each of the rods. The spacing between the top and bottom frame needs to be set to an approximate distance of 5cm. Install the bottom gate and the switch holders and then place on four M8 lock nuts. With this setup, I found the threaded rod needed a sleeve or cover to prevent it wearing away at the gate. I made a small selector end piece that screws onto the end of the thread. The thread needs to be cut shorter before installing the new piece. With the shifter disassembled, I also added four spaces to fit over the rods. With the spaces on, reinstall the gate and the switch holder. Then place nuts on all four corners and tighten. Add a second nut or use lock nuts to prevent the bolts from coming loose. Tighten all the bolts, then check over the lever moves freely and into all the gears. The switches have three terminals marked C for common, NO for normally open and NC for normally closed. We will wire to the common and to the normally open terminals, making the switch only active when it is pressed. Install the switches, lining up the roller with the space in the gate. To hold the switches in place, use a small amount of hot glue applied to the back of each switch. Plug in or solder the wires from each plug to the common and normally open terminals. Check the lever function and check that it presses on the switches installed. Then plug in the six cables and the USB connection into the joystick encoder. Finally, install a gear knob onto the M8 threaded rod to complete the build. Plug the encoder into a USB port on a PC and then test the gears and switches function correctly.